here in the National Park Service, our goal and our job is to do our best to preserve the resources in the parks. We have some different challenges in a park like Santa Monica Mountains National Recreation Area than you might in Yosemite or Yellowstone, etc. because we're next to the second largest metropolitan area in the country, Los Angeles. And so because carnivores need a huge amount of space, if any group of animals are going to be especially affected by habitat loss and fragmentation, that's going to be carnivores. I'm just plugging in the receiver to the omnidirectional antenna. That's the one on the roof. It'll pick up the signal so we know we're getting closer. The mountain lions have GPS collars. So we're, we're going to track P13 and her kitten, well, her most recent kitten, P26, right now. But P19 was a previous litter, a previous kitten of hers, and P19 had kittens just this last spring, right in that canyon over there. With the GPS collar, we could actually see how the mountain lions move around. What happens with habitat fragmentation is formerly continuous habitat gets divided up by roads and development and things like that. And so you end up with these smaller patches and of habitat. And in those smaller patches, you end up with smaller populations. And the problem there is that over time, with a small population, they can lose some of their genetic diversity. You can get inbreeding where more closely related animals are breeding with each other. And in the long run, continually reducing the genetic diversity can result in significant um, genetic issues and even genetic defects. It's been really helpful to track these kittens from a young age and see how well they do because young males typically disperse. And we know that is a major issue here because the Santa Monica's are surrounded by either the ocean down there or the freeway and development on the other three sides. And when these young males try to get somewhere else, it's very hard for them to do that. It's critical to know, especially for carnivores that need so much space, whether or not the populations in these natural areas are effectively connected. In other words, whether animals are getting back and forth between them. And so two kinds of data that we're looking at, one movement data and two genetic data, can help us work on things like getting some kind of wildlife crossing under the freeway here. If we don't have this connectivity, it's not gonna happen you know, next year or in 10 years, but eventually, we won't be able to keep a, an animal like mountain lions in the park. And that's our job. That's our mandate with the National Park Service is to do our best to preserve all of the natural resources in these parks, including mountain lions. You know, mountain lions are sort of the ultimate challenge in a landscape like this because they need so much space. But we're hopeful that we can continue to, to have them even in a park like Santa Monica Mountains next to a large metropolitan area.